Yat eight near my son and Ishne. This is Navajo Grandma. I have something very serious to talk to you all of you about. And it's really kind of hard, but it really, it, it, it needs to be said. I know you have uh, enjoyed my videos and I've enjoyed making them for you. Some of them have been unprofessional, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I feel like we were able to, or I was able to share with you the information that has helped all of you along the way. And I, I'm so happy because of the comments that you make uh, or the phone calls that, or, you know, talking to you on, you know, the, you know, just answering you and, helping you to understand my culture, my Navajo Diné culture. And uh, Grandma has invested a lot of time and we got a problem here. Uh, I lost my ability to pay for my home. So I no longer have that. I have also um, I don't know how to say this I don't have a home I've been living out of my car and I'm right now in my storage thank heavens we have a storage and uh, since my husband had his stroke Things have plummeted downhill, but I I always think why are why would a person be going through this? Um, and mainly, you know, going through all the savings and everything. Um, my children don't have the ability to take care of me. That is uh, really hard because they have little children. They're trying to keep afloat with everything pandemic. I will personally blame the pandemic for some of the hardships that I'm going through. The one thing I want you to understand is that I do not want you to feel sorry for grandma. Because see, this is the way it was in the reservation. You didn't have anything. Well, I, you know, I guess there was poverty. I'm not in poverty, but I don't have a home. Uh, I'm living in my, I'm sleeping in my car with my husband and we've expended our monies on the things that were most important. And I am right now in the process and remember grandma's learning how to do this type of web uh, online Patreon and PayPal. I'm learning to do this. And I'm really in this situation asking if you can help me. Um, you know, I've seen uh, these videos where they say, if you can give a dollar a month. I don't know how it works. Um, I will discover that. I've contemplated the taxes. And that doesn't look fun. But there are, are wise ways to put take care of that and set that apart um, to have you know your bank account just set for this um, there's a lot of information there where it has strengthened me to look at it more constructively and so that I uh, well I was set but because of this COVID, people lost their ability to pay for my services. And then, you know, it, it, it was heavy because we were doing really well. Now, I'm not the only one who has a cause and effect here. Um, and again, I don't want you to feel sorry. I just, I'm just saying, as a family, is there any way to maybe um, 
give a dollar a month. I don't know how they do this. Um, because now it's getting down to gas money and I want so much to go out there and, and to provide you with what my grandfather taught me. And his wisdom is getting me through this. And you know how I told you the new year where the shoes, you walk in somebody's shoes. Now, I don't really need to understand empathy because I already have empathy. I don't know if it's humility. There's no problem with humility here. Uh, whatever it is, I know my Heavenly Father has a plan for me to go through this this type of situation right now. I didn't volunteer for it. I was prepared for it, but things just got worse and worse. And like I said, our income, excuse me, just didn't handle it. And I'm uh, at this point concerned about providing you with all of the cultural teachings so much more that you and I need to, uh, that you need to discover to give you strength when you go through whatever you will. I've, you know, like I said, I've, I know there are some who are sick. Grandma prays for you. I am on my knees. I am concerned about you. Those who are having financial problems, every problem I, I can think of. You talk to your Heavenly Father about it. And some might say, well, if you, if you depend on Him, why are you in this situation? Well, I think there's a learning experience here that I need. We, we're not all perfect. And maybe I need more empathy and greater empathy than because I might be called upon to do even greater things. The sad part where I have really wept lately, I have two daughters who have COVID and my grandchildren. And that's been hard. I can sleep in my car. I can live in my car. But I told Heavenly Father, do not take my children. And so far he's been kind. The girls are healing. And I hope we have just been on our knees. So we're being tried, we're being tested, and that's what life is about. And it's not fun at times. And so this is basically I'm asking as I provide you with my life and not being afraid to share my culture with you because it's not, it's permeated throughout the whole world. I mean, I'm getting, I'm getting comments. I have conversations with people all over the world and I have a great responsibility to give hope and to love everyone. You do not need a palace. You don't need a house to love others. You do not need all of these things, the worldly things, to give service. You don't. What you need is understanding life and caring for each other. Doesn't matter how many miles are between you. And I've learned that. So you're just as close as 
to my heart, to me, to Navajo Grandma Hazini, as, as if you were standing right in front of me. When I send you hugs, I do send you my hugs of faith. When I pray for you, I pray for you individually. because I want you to be happy. I want you to have success. And, I, and that's I want it for myself too. But sometimes it doesn't always work out that way. So with that said, I wanted you to see, I'm in my storage. I bathe here, I clean up here, I have some change sometimes to wash clothes. If not, I wash my own. I eat at the park. I look up at the stars and I look up at the, at the clouds and I'm grateful I'm alive. And I want you to know it doesn't matter what your circumstances are. We can love one another and sustain and help each other spiritually, emotionally, in every aspect. I smudge. And remember, you take negatives and you make them into positives. And you have positive affirmations, which is prayer. Prayer is a part of that. There's a lot of strengths that we need. And I'm experiencing this. And I am so thankful to my grandfather. All of the things that I'm teaching you. My home is out there by the juniper trees. And it doesn't matter if there's four walls around me. My home is out there. And I come in to the city and do the things I need and I may not have the house the cabin I had on a blueprint I've given that up so one of my goals is that I hope that I will get some business again my business is all shot uh, that's gone downhill but my goal is to, I'm looking for a small trailer, not a fifth wheel. That's, I want a small trailer that I can take care of my husband in. I can cook for him there to know he's safe. Because all of this now is dependent on me and I need to be brave. I need your prayers. And I know we are told, and this too shall pass. Because there's always a silver lining, there really is. So, I really don't think I'm gonna have a home. I love chickens, I love my roosters. I've given that up because I want to be here for you. It doesn't matter how, but I want to be here for you, to bless you, to help you, that you know Navajo Grandma loves you, and that I am doing my part to brighten your day, to show you what it is and how to survive in hard times. And because some hard times are going to be coming and mine is kicking in a little too soon but it's okay I'm fine I am healthy I'm taking care of myself we walk I need to make sure my husband has his pills and and that he's in his outpatient we travel to where he needs and there is just a lot of responsibilities. And again, I hope you can just 
you know, I don't know how it will work, but I'm just asking to see if there's any way that you could possibly help me just a little along the way, not forever. And this is my video for this week. I'm going to take it down soon, but it's just to preempt the uh, PayPal and the uh, Patreon. And I don't know, I'm learning right now how to use this. Anyways, I, I didn't want to cry, and I am, and I'm, I have a, I'm going to be brave because I have a Heavenly Father who's with me. I know He lives. And I know He loves me. And I know He values me. And no matter what, I need to be here to love you, to bless you, to teach you correct principles, and to let you know you are a part of my Navajo grandma family. Always. You have a home in my heart. You do. And you need to know this. It doesn't matter if grandma has a home or not. My strength is what you, I hope gives you strength. So I have so many things that I want to share with you. And I'm grateful that I have wonderful parents who taught me. Wonderful grandpa, grandma, my Biji and my Nali, my paternal grandparents, and my maternal grandparents, my family and friends who have taught me along the way, my teachers, that I, through this time, can really uh, become stronger. I know there are other people who are suffering greater. I watched this video of this woman whose husband died when they had a Valentine's Day dinner and he got hit, they got hit side, I guess, uh, by some somebody and he died on impact. And she was in a mess. One of my subscribers told me about her. So we are okay. There is always someone who has it worse than you. But she's healing. She doesn't have her husband. And it breaks my heart. But I know my prayers are with her. And that I send her a comment that she knows I love her. And that she is my sister, my family too. See, this is what it you keep goes round and round. We need to love each other. We need to love one another, no matter what. And I will end that right now in this video. So now you know my circumstance. Uh, Grandma's not going to lie to you. I never will. I know we need to be honest and trust one another. So with this chapter in my life, let's make it a happy forward, go forward, being happy and seeing how we can help one another. I want to keep these videos going right now. That's why I'm asking because the finances are a little short. And uh, I want to be able to also travel and do things for you and show you the things that are really a strength. So Grandma loves you. I really mean this with all my heart. And please pray for each other. Pray for Grandma. Grandma prays for you. That is it because the airplane is flying around here and we, uh, I want you to please pray about this if you want to help. If not, it's okay. We are going to be okay. I love you. Sending you my hugs. 
箱根。